the best in street and surfwear, Chicago Joes, in the arcade. Well, this year is a very special year for Germany and New Zealand because we are celebrating 60 years of diplomatic relations between our two countries. And so it's very fitting that we are also formalizing a very special partnership, a very special cooperation between an outstanding school, Ashburton uh, Secondary School, Ash Ashburton College, and the Goethe Institute, the German Cultural Institute. Often, the learning and teaching of foreign languages in English-speaking countries is struggling a little bit. So, it is really great to note that here in New Zealand, there are outstanding language programs in primary and in secondary schools. German is a language that is actually easy to pronounce contrary to public perception, because it's based on the same vowel system as you find in the Maori language. And of course, the learning of foreign languages opens up other worlds for the students, for you students, and it enables you to understand another culture. And on a much more pragmatic level, um, it can later enhance your employment opportunities with a foreign company, with a German company, some of the 110 German companies operating here in New Zealand. So I would like to say, enjoy, enjoy the German language, the language with a heart, and thank you very much. to also witness the signing of the MOU between the College and the Goethe Institute. Is, is what is what is the government doing 
for the proposition that whether New Zealand will be a better country or worse country as a result of them being there. And, and I would say to people, look, if I walk out of here and um, get hit by a bus, right, um, just as I'm getting mowed down, will I think in the nearly five years I've been Prime Minister, I left New Zealand in better shape than I found it or worse shape than I found it? Because they, they interviewed Muldoon once years ago and they said to him, what's your, what's your you know, aim and ambition as Prime Minister? And he said to leave New Zealand in no worse shape than he found it. And I thought, wow, that is really lacking in ambition with the greatest respect to, to Rob. I mean, you, your job should be to make things better. And so if you think about what's happened in the last five years, you know, we've, we've got through the global financial crisis. It's, it's been um, the only recession in world history that's been worse has been the Great Depression, right? We've got through the Christchurch earthquakes. Um, you've got through droughts and floods and tornadoes and all sorts of other crises. And we've been really careful in the way that we've managed the book. So every year we've poured more money into health and education and science and we've essentially found those savings from somewhere else. So when we first came into office in late 2008, the Treasury came over to me and said, if you carry on the way you're going with the programs you've got and the spending that you guys you know, are inheriting, um, New Zealand by 2020, which is not that far away, is going to have $150 billion worth of debt. And what they said last couple of weeks ago in the budget was by 2020 their expectations are now we'll have $50 billion worth of debt. So we have literally saved you, because you're the ones that are going to pay for it, not me. You're going to be the tax partners that are going to pay for it, $100 billion worth of debt. So New Zealand's growing faster than almost any other OECD country. It's got the 11th lowest unemployment rate in the world. It's got one of the highest ranking education systems in the world. It's got the, the crime rate that's on a 30 year low. Health systems are performing more operations with more doctors and more nurses than it has before. Environmental standards are actually lifting in New Zealand. So, I mean, what, I, what I'd say to you is, if you, if you go back to the question you said earlier, if you went to Christchurch and asked some of those people that we were closing their school, is John here a good guy, do I like the government, their answer would be no. Okay? Outside of that, they might say yes. But my job isn't always to be loved on everything I do. My job is to basically make the right decisions for New Zealand. If you go back and ask those parents in about five years' time, is that new you know, $200 million school with state-of-the-art technology and everything else the best place to send my child, those parents will say yes. So, you know, I think in the end, just to really synthesise the, the point, you have to say, are these people taking New Zealand in the best direction? If you think it's another political party, well then you've got to go and do what your heart says and vote for them. But, but all I can tell you is that, that it's really easy to spend other people's money. It's much harder to actually live within the means and earn it. And I think New Zealand's becoming a stronger, more confident country as a result of us being there. So that's, that's what I believe really passionately in what we're doing. And even if we lose, I'll still feel really passionately about it. I just think that we've been doing the right things.